If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. I did a similar set to this and we upgraded it with a few additions, obviously. Wicked Flanker's Gorget, which I guess is a different name for shoulders. Castle Nathria, LFR, Stone Legion Generals, drop that shoulder piece. The chest is going to bring you to Cedra Vilgamar, Mythic Garage Hellscreen. Remember him? He should be somewhere in the Shadowlands. We haven't seen him yet. 32% drop rate for the Tunica, the Shattered Veil. Next up is the belt, Dread Gladiator's Leather Belt. That's an alliance only belt. BFA PvP vendor, Marks of Honor to pick up that belt. Next up, we're going to hook you up with the legs, which are leg wraps of the Shattered Veil, part of the same tier set for Druids as the chest which of course is Siege of Ogremar Mythic, that is the place. Good drop rate on that, by the way. Got a Lady Night Elf showing Imperial Leather Boots. Get them from Eastern or Western Plaguelands, various mobs. Best bet, just step up, buy them on the auction house. Got a kind of light green, Kelly green look to it. Uh, the Hands, Bleak Wings, Assassin's Grips, part of the same tier as Castle Nathria, LFR Shoulders. Uh, Mr. Sunstrider drops those, and the back. Mantle of Court of Blades. Uh, we're looking at Revendreth, Venthyr campaign. I guess there's not a lot of Venthyr druids out there, but you never know. Blizzard might do something to buff that ability. Night Vision Mech Shades engineering on the head and the weapon. Grand Inquisitor Staff, once again. Revendreth, but it's a drop. We went from an unlikely Venthyr Druid to a very likely Night Fade Druid. So we're pulling the shoulders, the belt, and the gloves from the Night Fade campaign, which of course is Ardenweald. So most likely some little ability called Convoke the Spirits that Druids tend to like and everybody else tends to hate. Tunic of the Sycophant, uh, that of course is the Eternal Palace. The belt, as we said, Ardenweald, Night Fate campaign, rep and renown to pick up that pretty cool looking belt. And the legs are part of the same tier set as the chest, Eternal Palace, regular version, Radiance of Ashara, 12% shot to get the leggings of the Stormborn, memories of Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, the feet, Vicious Gladiator's Boots of Cruelty, Cata PvP vendor, Marks of Honor to get those boots which just work perfectly you got that same kind of blue to them and you got that gray and purple and it works great uh flowing wing bracers that is firelands heroic balarock is the boss 24 percent on the drop rate so we're pulling uh the belt and the shoulders not the hands here but those bracers are from uh, firelands heroic so I made a mistake there uh, the Helm, Dominant Gladiator's Dragonhide Helm, that is Alliance only, I do believe, Marks of Honor to get that Helm. And the weapon is also Ardenweald Night Fae for the staff. This particular set is a mix of two different X-Packs, Vicious Gladiator's Kotohide Spalders, Cata PvP Vendor, which of course is Cataclysm, Marks of Honor super easy pickup there. On the Druid Shoulders tier, PvP tier. Uh, the Chest, also a PvP tier. I think this is Alliance only. Shadowlands PvP vendor. Conquest points as of the upload of this video, but that'll change rather quickly. Uh, the Belt is Molten Front, uh, which is, of course, I think it's patch 4.2, 4.3. 4 4.2, I do believe, so you're going to have to burrow through that content. The Legs. Uh, part of the same tier set as the chess piece, Shadowlands PvP Vendor Conquest points, of course, that will change going forward. Uh, the feet, Oppressors, Merciless Treads, Hellfire Citadel Mythic, Tyrant Valhari, 18% on the drop rate for those feet. So it's essentially a mix of a P uh, PvP set from Kata as well as a PvP set from Shadowlands, but we got a little bit of a mix here. We got, we're pulling the boots from Wad. We're pulling the belt from Wrath of the Lich King. We're pulling the back from BFA, Benthic armor there on that piece. It just goes so well. And the helm. So the helm, the shoulders, and the gloves are all Kata PVP vendor. 
the weapon. Is Isle Expeditions, buy it on the auction house, that's your best way. I like the red farce jury look, I really do, and I think this is perfect for it. Warmongering gladiators, pauldrons, wad PvP vendor, two marks of honor to get the shoulders. If you hoard, you're gonna have to go wild on that particular piece. Uh, Eye of Ashara, uh, Serpentrix is the boss, tunic of the pitiless monstrosity on the chest. The belt is the burning throne, Varimathras is the boss, belt of fractured sanity. That belt goes pretty epic with this overall set here. And the legs are also a match with the chest, part of that same drop set from Dungeons, Vault of Wardens, Cordana Felsong is the boss, about 5% on the drop rate for that particular piece. Bloodthirsty Gladiator's Boots of Cruelty, that brings us to Kata, Stormwind Ogremar to pick up that from your Kata PvP vendor. Look how great that cloak goes with this. Uh, the Hands, Warmongering Gladiator's Grips, Wad PvP vendor. If you're a Horde player, you're going to have to go wild in order to get that particular piece from Wad. Next up, the back, Mantle of Fury, Mount Hygel, Elemental Bonds, The Vow. It is a quest reward from Kata. Here's the deal, uh, to equip it and use it, you have to be a warrior. To mog it, you can also equip it, but you're not getting stats, that doesn't matter if you're max level anyway. You probably, if you did the quest, you already have it regardless of what tune. And there's the weapon. Here's a very druid looking set. You got the brown, you got the different color brown, different shade brown, a little bit of yellow, and it works really well. Uldwar on the shoulders, also I do believe Uldwar on the gloves. The chest is going to bring us to various Wrath of the Lich King dungeons to get the pygmy tunic, various mobs, or the auction house. Super easy get there. Next up, the belt is Uldir. That's regular version. Zekvaz is the boss. Replicated Chitin cord or Chitin cord. It, it, just go to old ear, do regular version, you'll get it. Pygmy Pants, Pit of Sauron, as you can see the boss, or you could basically buy it on the auction house, that's probably your best way to go. That's just a, a dungeon drop on the chest as well as the legs. The boots are final salvation. Uh, we're looking at Hellfire Citadel LFR, Kill Rock Deadeye drops those boots, so that's pretty decent drop rate. Next up, the hands, gloves of the Frozen Glade, Ulduar, Cache of Winter, as I said, part of the same tier set as the Druid Shoulders from Wrath of the Lich King. We have a High Mountain Druid, Tabard of Cenarian Expedition. Uh, we're looking at Zangermarsh to get that, Rep and Gold, Headpiece, Warmongering Gladiator's Helm, Wide PvP Vendor, if you hoard. You're going wild to get that particular piece, and Spire of blah blah blah, Dragon Soul, cool looking staff. Kind of an easy set to get here, the shoulders, uh, the Burning Throne LFR, uh, there's the boss, 5% drop rate for the Spolders of Relentless, of the Relentless Tracker. Sounds kind of hunter-like, but that's a Druid tier. Uh, the chest, Dalaran, Wrath of the Lich King, uh, you could buy it, I do believe there, or you could basically farm it out of Ulduar, so that is your choice. Next up, the belt, belt of screaming slag, whatever screaming slag is, uh, Chumasar Garrus Garoth is the boss, 6% on the drop rate for that belt. Moving on, the legs, sticking with the Torn Druid here, leggings of swift reflexes, part of the same Raid drop set as the chest from Old War. Rune Master Mulgaim, I do believe, is the boss. The feet, Miss Stalker's Waters, Isle Expedition, if you want to farm them, or you could easily buy them on the auction house. Probably the best way to go there. The hands are Bare Mental Paws, part of the same Druid tier from Legion as the shoulders. And the next piece in a Night Elf drew it here to Nan Jungle, various mobs, auction house to get the flame licked cloak of the calf bird, and the headpiece, bare mental headdress, the burning throne, LFR, 
Agrimar is the boss, kind of a low drop rate. I think that's where you get those gloves too. I, I had it on a dungeon, but I think it's uh, the Burning Throne. And the weapon, as you can see, Blackrock Foundry. My name is Luxley. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Leave a like on the video, please. It helps out the channel, and it's a lot cheaper than funneling money to me on Patreon. Nevertheless, whatever it is, or wherever you are, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, make your day epic.